Are you a caregiver whose life has just gone crazy? Do you find yourself in a situation where you are managing the health of an elderly parent, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent? You are trying to work, you're trying to go to school, and everything seems to be falling apart. I've talked to a lot of caregivers this week in that situation, and I'll share some tips to make it through those days when you think that you really can't make it through that day. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. Check out the link in this video post. It goes to my blog. What's a blog? Blog is recent information, articles, news about caregiving. It's updated every week with my radio show podcast and other information. So how do we manage when things seem to be going out of control, when things seem to be going crazy and our minds are doing the same thing? How many days do we have that our mind is just rushing from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, and we can't really focus on this list of things we have to do? Maybe we are at work and we have a project to finish and we are thinking about our mom or our dad or we're getting phone calls from a doctor's office. A million things interrupt that thing that we are trying to get done. Or maybe you're going to school and you have a term paper due or it's time for midterms or you're doing a final and things are going on in your family and you can't focus. So the best way to regain control of our lives is to pay attention to ourselves and do some self-care, which caregivers have a difficult time doing. You have to find and create your own caregiving skills toolkit. I actually have a radio show called that. Um, it's a great show and it talks about ways to refocus your mind to stop it from that constant thinking here and thinking here and there and you're going there and you're going there and you're just all spinning around and you can't focus. One of them is plants. I have plants in my office. The other things, and I've talked about these um, before, but you know, meditation, prayer, reading, positive information. We have to get our minds out of that trap where it's going to worry and stress and we're being negative and we can't think positively. Because when our mind is spinning in all of that negative, it's impossible or very difficult for us to think of solutions and to think of things that we need to do the most. So when I cared for a lot of clients and we would have emergency situations, I would do what I call triage. And triage would be making a list of the most time sensitive, most urgent things that had to get done. Everything else not on that list had to wait. And I had no problem calling people saying, I've had a last minute emergency come up with a client. I need to deal with this. It's not that you are any less important, but this is life or death. I will be back with you in a day or two when I get the situation managed. So if you're going to school and you have a family issue, talk to your teachers, talk to your instructors. When I was finishing my MBA, my mother died this time of year, actually, um, March 10th almost, and I couldn't focus. I had to talk to my professor, and I actually got my course extended so that I could finish my paper and finish everything that I needed to do because I knew that I wouldn't be able to do it. As caregivers, you have to bring those attentions to your workplace. I know many caregivers don't want to let your supervisors know that you are a caregiver for a lot of reasons. You have to let your Workplace know, if you're going to school, let your professors know. Tell people what you're going through so that they can give you a little bit of a break so that you can get a little bit of a breather to be able to manage the situation that you have to manage, get it taken care of, smooth it out, and then move back to work projects or school projects or whatever it is you need to do. And then also look at the long term though. If this issue that happened is going to continue and you're going to have to go back and forth to manage it in the bigger picture, in the long term, how do you do that? 
tips for that, tips for caregivers, tips for aging adults are on my blog. The link is in this video post. Helpful information is there for caregivers and aging adults. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. Have a fabulous day today. I'll see you again in another video.